Okay, my name is Riley Malone, and this is Born Again South by Episode 2, VR Gaming with a Myoelectric Prosthetic. Uh, we're going to make this short and sweet if we can, because I'm having trouble with my camera. Um, what are you going to do if you're set up like me with the prosthetic on the right hand? Leave the game set on right hand dominant, so you can use a left controller to move around. You're only gonna be able to use this for holding things and crap like that, just like in real life. Okay, this grip cover and strap came from Amazon, it's pretty cheap. You may be able to find something better. Uh, you may be able to build something better. I was thinking about a weightlifting glove with a pocket sewn on the inside that would hold the thing just right, because all you're gonna be able to do is access that button that grabs and holds on to things. And you're going to have to transfer and do all kinds of stuff, but we cover that in a demo. So first, put the wrist strap on. Run the fingers of the prosthetic through the hand strap. Now I'm also using a rubber band to kind of hold this thing up and in a good position. To hit that button. You may have an issue that you might damage this controller with your robot hand, so don't blame me if it happens. But this does work and you can play the game. Check out the demo. Okay, let's get started. Let's make sure my electric hand is working properly. All right. When you grab backpack, grab it with your good hand, transfer it to the electric hand, and then you can manipulate. Same with the journal. 8354, that's going to be important in a minute. Now once you have it set where you want, like on a map, you can just grab it with your good hand and move around okay I need these we are just simply going to go uh, climb a drain pipe open a safe in this drain pipe I'm going to climb I actually have no good reason climate for what I'm doing here. I am just doing it to show that it can be done. If we see a zombie that I can't get around, I'll show you how I use the melee weapons. I'm going to grab it with my left hand. And then I'm going to stabilize it with my electric arm. And this is the same way for stabilizing a pistol. <laughs> it's not perfect. <laughs> not perfect at all. <laughs> Letting go. And that's one thing I just forgot. The uh, electric hand sometimes, when you grab hold, you need to turn the hand off. That way it won't keep doing that open and closing thing it was just doing. That's also the way that I reload the guns. Spark. I just use my good arm with the guns uh, if I get an opportunity to. Okay, this lady's gonna mug you. So. Give me your back, gonna hurt you. No, you'll also see people hanging around like that, and they're going to ask you for things. 
like medicine, so on and so forth. But if you see them hanging out like that with a gun in their hand, they're, they're about to try to rob you. to attempt to climb even though there's no good reason to do it. Oh. Now, this is difficult oh. to do with the electric hand. I almost fell just then. I don't know if you didn't see that. Oh. Oh. Okay, so now you know that you can climb And you can manipulate the backpack if I get any. Now, once again, I didn't turn it off, which does make that easier. But when using the melee weapons, it is best to turn the arm off so that you can manipulate it better. Now I think I should find some 30 caliber ammo downstairs. And when I do, I'll show you how to reload. <laughs> Also, uh, I hope I'm still uh, lined up with the camera, but I can't use the snap turn feature. So I actually just have to turn by moving my head only. Now, what did we say? Eight, three, five, four. Cool. There's some really good stuff in this first safe. Open. This is one of the best things you're going to get uh, if you are using a prosthetic because it is so much easier to reload while we are in here. Okay, we will transfer to the electric hand and then reach inside. Press the button to open the chamber. Oh, I don't have any. Well, either way, that's how you do it. Open the chamber with the arm turned off that will lock onto it. And then you can just take and reload. I got confused for some reason. I thought that I just picked up the proper ammo, which I did not. basically have what we need. We proved that we can manipulate weapons, reload,
climb drain pipes. Oh yeah. Now for this I'm going to have to transfer. And then release. some 30 caliber ammo in the next few seconds I am going to hightail it <laughs> Let's just go ahead and get out of here. We got the safe. We did the climbing. We showed that we can uh, manipulate the maps, use the backpack. Two-handed melee weapons. My watch is starting to beat. So I need to get out of here whether I want to or not. Let's do a little, just for show. I should have stabilized that with my other hand, but I didn't. Okay, let's stabilize. Much better. And let's use this. And it's going to come in handy for resupplying. Oh man, I really got to get. Oh, there's the skiff right there. Go back and kill one of those zombies just to see if I can do better. I think we should. I'll turn the arm off. All right. Much easier.
It is a little difficult even when you turn the arm off because uh, using these straps for the controller tend to make it a little off center. Okay, now with this navigational map, just like the one in the journal, you're going to want to grab it with your right hand. And there we have it. Okay, now that we're back from the demo, uh, I'm also planning on building a body power type prosthetic uh, that will work better than this, maybe. And one thing I forgot when talking to people, hit the button on the left controller, reach inside the top of this, move the toggle so that you can highlight the phrase you want to say, and then release the button. And that should pretty much have it all covered. As I play more games and get better, I will leave those in the comments. I played this game today, I played that game today, so on and so forth, but I'll be playing The Walking Dead for a while. Um, and please try my method, improve on it, and have fun. Thanks for watching.